The question I'm answering today is, how can lead meditation to world peace? The reason why I'm often asked this question is because we often, in our temple, speak about meditation as the ultimate means to attain world peace, to accomplish world peace. Or sometimes we put it in the phrase, uh, world peace through inner peace. Now, why is this, how is this possible? Is this something mystical, like everyone just sits down and closes in a, his eyes and suddenly the world will be perfectly beautiful and, and, and nothing, no war will exist in the world? You could explain it a bit more in detail than that. Meditation ultimately is a practice of making the mind more resilient and strong. It is a practice of making the mind more clear, helping us to understand the world and our fellow human beings better. The best way to explain meditation, how meditation affects the mind, is to use the metaphor of a snow globe. If you've ever been to one of those souvenir shops with, which sells snow globes, you must have seen it. It's, um, it's one of these globes in which you have a lot of snow and a picture sometimes of a mountain, sometimes of uh, a couple dancing or something like that. When you move one of these snow globes around, the glass will look very snowy and you will not be able to see through it. You will not be able to see what the image within the glass, within the globe, what it shows. But once we put the globe down, we can see what the image is like. Is it the mountain? Is it the landscape? Is it the couple that is dancing? In the same way with our mind. As long as our mind is still moving, as long as our mind is still distracted, as long as there is still clutter in our mind, we will not be able to see clearly what is our own what is the best for our own benefit and happiness? What is the best for the other person's benefit and happiness? We will not be able to see these things clear. But once we put our mind in a still spot, put our mind in a still spot, in a still place, we meditate and learn to do that, then we start to see clear. Just like the snow globe is put in one single still spot. And we can then clearly understand what is the best for our own benefit and happiness? And what is the best for another person's benefit and happiness? And we will realize that happiness and suffering does not so much depend on external circumstances like a good economy, like uh, having a lot of oil, or having a lot of uh, uh, other factors that are external. But we understand that happiness is much more internal much more based on how we, uh, our mind works on an internal level. So once we understand that, the need to strive and compete, and in that way also to finally uh, engage in warfare, that is, that need is felt a lot less, and we feel much more like we would like to cooperate. We feel like every human being in the world is like our family. In that way, we will not see the need for war, and that's how meditation can contribute to world peace.